Hello. Um, my first plant video. Uh, that I hope my teacher watches. Because she said she would watch it. Okay. So. Oh, yeah. Let okay, me go. I'm back. So. Um. So. I don't even know what these are called. But they're flowers. So. You see there's this pink one. All right. Uh, I think they're violets. And then this is the purple one, but it doesn't have any flowers at the moment. And so, what we did here, uh, I will tell you when I go home and go inside and put these back. Now I'm back. Okay, so the story is, well, not story, but... So, what I wanted to do was I wanted to have, I wanted to have a plant with the colors of pink and purple and a violet. And so... Uh, I put these two together and then they grew out and it's supposed to be a mix. And so this is like, I don't know how big this is, like that big, whatever. So this pot, um, is too small for these now because that's why they don't flower. And so I'm going to repot this. I have this $1 uh, dollar tree. Ooh. So we always call this place $1 in my house because... I don't know, because we do. And so, yep, we got this pot from Dollar Tree. It has a dead leaf in it. And that's okay. And so, that's that. And then, we have our amazing sand that we got by the river nearby. Uh, in our amazing yogurt um, plastic container thingy. This amazing brand that has edited their yogurt and made it disgusting, made it sweet because of the people living in America because they don't know what yogurt tastes like so they tried this disgusting yogurt like these brands, I don't even know what they're called and like it's terrible and that's why no one tried this yogurt that comes from Turkey the best yogurt out, well not the best yogurt but like one of the best yogurt out there and so no one tried it and so they changed their things and made them sweet so that you guys can have the nice yogurt that you think is good but a sweet yogurt is very bad um so what am i gonna do i'm outside so i'm just gonna go to the nearby pots that don't have anything living in them at the momentaneous hours i hope my audio is coming through well and so i'm just gonna fill them with soil they're pretty wet um but whatever and you know it really doesn't matter but you gotta do like you gotta mix them um, not like the different types of soil, but like you gotta like put sand in it. Oh, so sand, sand, sand. Um, sand is very helpful, I think, in my opinion. Or, no, I don't know. It's helpful. Because I think like the sand helps like the water pass through it and stuff. And it's like this special sort of sand. It's not like normal sand. It's like, uh, I don't know how to show this. Ugh. Like it's this sand and it's like I don't know it it's like little it's more like I guess like sort of like rocks ish but like it's actual sand it's like comes from nature it's not fake rocks and just it lets the water pass through it and so I put some soil on the bottom like around like that line right there the middle one and then I put some sand on top mixed it in together a little bit and I'm gonna eat some more sand in yep and then just you know like that and then ah, oh this is gonna be hard and then so let's see oh some of them have stuff living in them but that's okay so for example this random pot outside and you don't have to go buy special potting soil or anything go to your nearest walmart and buy five dollar garden soil it'll work the same i mean of course like the other ones like there's special soils that like work better and like they feed the plant and stuff like the actual soil feeds the plant but like eh, it's okay you don't have to um violets are indoor plants if you didn't know i mean i'm just doing this outside because my mom is facetiming my grandparents inside and so yeah 
so like don't put this thing on out uh, outside and then it dies and like why did it die or anything the very nice plants they flower so easily so like the only thing about this plant is that you're not supposed to get its um leaves wet if you never ever ever get its leaves wet and any under any under any con <sighs> oh so hard to talk under any condition because they don't like wet leaves all right and so yep that's it <laughs> and then what else you gotta do is it doesn't have to be like super wet all the time um something i do is i don't do any research about any plant until it starts dying it's a very great tip and it works all the time oh yeah yeah and here let me show you this okay so this is not this or this so this is my special random plant mix that i created two days ago and so how it works is and i'll tell you like how i know it works so like what i put inside of it is three banana peels a bunch of vitamin c a bunch of zinc a bunch of vitamin d3 a bunch of other vitamins like like the one daily the ones that like fill your body with all the good vitamins i put vitamin b in it i put aspirin in it aspirin is like what works the best not a lot of people maybe have it in their house but it's amazing go find aspirin and buy it i don't know maybe earth fair has it and so you put it all in here oh yeah yeah yeah. and also um so if you make tea at home which we do a lot um if you make tea at home put the uh like the so like if so like the the little bags put the bag and you can you don't need to put the string in the end with the paper and stuff but just put the bag with the tea in it in your thing and it'll be good um what else after you make it not like i don't think dry like fresh out of the packet doesn't work so you have to drink your tea and be instead of throwing it away just put it in here and uh warm water and blend right that's it oh yeah yeah and i put egg cartons for no reason at all um it's like you can compost it so it works anything you can compost you can put in here um what else and eggshells are really good, but I didn't have any eggshells. Like, I normally, like, store eggshells, but recently I made it for the other batch. And it's actually better to, like, let it stay for a while and, like, you know, like, like, let all the vitamins mix in with the water and, like, blend it one more time for everything to be amazing. Like, I waited, like, a couple of days last time. But, yeah. Uh, but anyways, I just made this. It's a lot more thicker than the other one I had made. And so I just put like some in it. Uh, I don't want to do this, but for my plants, I will. And then you're going to put some of that in. And this, oh, uh, here, let me tell you how, it, how I know it works. Um, so what I had done is, so Valentine's Day, uh, the day before my dad got my mom some flowers in like a pot, because a pot is so much better than cut flowers. And it didn't have like any flowers on it and so it was like um it was let me see how would i say this it was i mean it didn't have any flowers in it and it was just green and so that day i had made this mixture and i had put it in and i i made the mixture i put it in and then um the next day we gave it to my mom it still didn't have any flowers but the next day it showed a flower on it and i all in also the soil was dry when i bought it so if it's wet then i don't think you should do it and when it dries off it'll be better like don't put a lot if it's wet and what else okay oh that's not good oh don't fall don't fall Ugh, okay and another thing i did and that's it and so like after after Valentine's, so the next day it showed a flower and today it's like blooming out and so i won't show that in this video so yeah okay yes we're ready all right let me see uh yeah this works 
Okay, now I'm gonna bring you guys closer. Ouch, 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 ouch. Uh, I wish I could like put you guys up higher. You see, this one already had some eggshells in it. It takes long to decompose, but like, uh, so this is good. And so now we're just gonna like, boom, flip it over and then just let it sit there. All right, and perfect. So here, let me show you this. So you see this, I just put it on like that, you know, and yeah. That's it. And now you're gonna fill around with soil and you're gonna push it in. Like, here, I'll show you that too. Okay, and now I'm just gonna put some sand around it. And at this stage, if, if the leaves, if the leaves like get soil on it, it's okay if you wanna like wash that off, but like you shouldn't do it a lot. Like they really don't like getting their leaves wet. And so, uh, we make these a lot. I made, we had propagated one for my sister and like in like five, six months, it, it after we moved it into a bigger pot. So like these is, this is like what we always started with. After we moved it to another pot, it like really uh, grew and then like less than a week, it showed flowers and that was just good. And yeah, so like I said, don't get the, whatchamacallit wet the leaves what else this is like a easy really 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 easy plant to take care of and i'm putting more of our oh that wasn't supposed to happen yeah i'm gonna make more of this today because i'm literally using all of it for this guy and don't overwater it it would rather be underwatered i think from my experience like i said i don't do any research until it starts dying um don't overwater it because then it doesn't like that it would rather be underwatered and it can it can stay a while without um water in it so it can stay with um dry soil for a while um oh so you remember that pink one that i had showed that pink one um that is so the, one of the reasons why it's super healthy mashallah is because it so if you use like a clay pot the clay pot like the pot itself will act also feed it and so that's like that makes it want to grow and as it grows this plant will grow towards the sun all right it'll grow towards the sun and so when it grows towards the sun um it's like gonna bend over and so to fix that, all you have to do is just turn the pot around and then that'll, um, you know, fix it. And it'll like start growing the other way and it'll be straight. So you have to, and that, it doesn't grow like that a lot often. It takes like maybe every six months or so, it'll start turning in one direction if it stays in one spot. And here, let me show you guys the plant while I do this. Oh, my sister's phone is really, really, um, it has soil everywhere. You see, I was saying, like, why do these people always mess up while they're filming videos and doing soil stuff? And now I know that, um, it's actually kind of hard to hold a device with one hand and to plant it in. So you should also, so look. So you see, I put my fingers under it and I'm pushing down on the plant to like fit it in. All right, you do that. And when you do this and if you leave it like this, it'll like the plants, like the 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 roots, they will die of no oxygen. And so you have to push it in a little and then just pull it out and then that's it. And then now we're back here and continuing the uh, continuation process. Okay. So... Um, I'm gonna put more um, sand, of course, why not? And so what we did was like, we have like, you know, like we have the river. So we came by, like we went to the river one day and we had like got, like we got a cooler and we put a bunch of plastic bags in it and we filled it up with sand. And then we came back and like, that's, that's, um, where I get my sand and so this is like what I like carry the sand with upstairs because it's sitting in the garage 
and I don't like working in the garage. Um, you know, I'm really happy today because it's been rainy for the past couple of days and I was depressed and I never wanted to do anything. And so now, since the weather is good, I wanted to film a plant video. And now, since the weather is good, well, not good, but like more sunnier than normal. Um, I just, you know. You see, it's very slow. I like a slow, slow. Yep. It doesn't look the best. It doesn't smell, in my opinion. Like, I didn't use it that much, but like, from the times I did use it, it didn't smell. Um, and yeah. So this stuff is gonna decompose and be like plant food. So. You don't have to buy compost and like you don't have to like deal with all the compost making and stuff you just got to put it into the pot and cover it with soil and it's gonna do its thing this was the longest plant thinking um replotting plant video i've ever done or like repotting a plant ever in my life. Yeah. So this is just like the cheap way of um, taking care of plants because we have a lot of plants at home and like we don't want to spend hundreds upon hundreds upon dollars on our plants. And so this is like, these are all the stuff that we like all our techniques and stuff to That's good at this. And also, we have a friend who has, like, who has a farm and stuff. Well, not a farm, but, like, has uh, animals, like, animals and animals and stuff like that. And so, they have uh, actual cow poop. Yep. Um, it's, I don't know what it's called, manure or whatever. And so... Uh, sometimes we go to them and like they give it to us for free in like a bag of poop and we come and put those in and that really boosts it. Something else we do in the spring, just go to, don't pay $15 at Home Depot or Lowe's to get plant boosters. Just go to your Dollar Tree and there's like these little sticks um, of compost and like you just get them in the spring. And for big plots, like put two or three in them. Small pots, put one and stuff like that. And just amazing. Um, that's all we do about compost, these three. And yep, I'll be back with water because you got to water your plant after you. Assalamu alaikum, I'm back. And so this is called in Turkish, you would say, Can suyu. And that literally translates to um life water it's like the life it's the water that gives the plant its life so after you pot it and you don't water it it probably 10 to 9 5 out of 10 won't live so you should water it and so i mean you can get it wet on occasional times but like yeah it likes to say in warm weather our house is mainly not below 73 and not above 82 in the winter and well no not 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 above 80 in the winter on heat mode and on cool mode it's not below 77 or 76 or above 83 and yeah so we live in a hot house um yep and so i like these pots because they show you if there's water down here if there's water down there and if the soil is dry when you stick your finger in there then you can water it but if there's water down there and if the soil like you have to stick your finger in it because the top of it can be dry but like below it is super wet so yep like that and yes so now i'm gonna go put it inside and like i'm gonna you know like a few weeks later i'll show you guys what it looks like <laughs> 